What's up guys, today we're going to review Xiaomi phone, that is Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro from 2020 or 2021 actually, yeah 2020 it was released, 2021 started aggressive uh, sold out uh, around the world so this phone is uh, almost two years old, one half year old and let's see, we already have Mi 11T, Mi 11T Pro, that is 2021 model, so this one one is more outdated but you can buy this one right now for uh, 250 bucks used there is no new one of course because it's already out of sales but still you can buy this one for 250 bucks with uh, 256 gigabytes of RAM, uh, of uh, storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM so basically just firstly I would briefly introduce the phone maybe someone don't know about this and then just to describe to you how it works in 2022 whether it's worth to buy and what's going to be with this phone within several years okay so let's go the first one is that this phone was just updated to MIUI 13 uh, in the global and Chinese version both so basically this phone is still updating Android 12 the latest version of uh, Android here Android 12 okay you see night mode is on so now I have MIUI 12 13.4.4 uh, stable by Xiaomi U. So basically this one is the latest version right now for all Xiaomi phones and this one is a sub lagman phone which still support upgrades. The Android version wasn't pre-installed here is 10 then it was updated to 11 and now it's 12 so the latest Android version right now for this phone is 12. A MIUI version should be one more so Xiaomi promised to update uh, three MIUI versions and two Android versions so we have second MIUI it was 11 by default then updated to 12 then updated to uh, no wait it was 12 by default now it's 13 and then it's going to be 14 supported to this phone so let's say at least one year uh, it, it will have some upgrades still even a bit more than one year so basically that's a good point also from battery have 5 mAh battery with 33 watts uh, fast charging that is also quite nice the uh, Snapdragon 865 is really fast it's still working really good so basically this processor you still can use for three four years for gaming for other uh, like regular things also RAM here 8 plus 3 so 3 is just uh, used by a storage it's new feature from UI 12.5 enhanced and you have here 6.67 IPS LCD screen so basically it's quite good and resolution is uh, full HD plus and you have three cameras one, 108 megapixels or 10 megapixels and 5 megapixels so basically 5 megapixels useless as macro model no one use it but uh, wide angle 13 megapixel is not bad and 1.1 108 megapixels still working really good I will check this later front camera is 20 megapixels also not bad okay basically uh, let's just go one by one how it works the first one so as we see it's quite smooth it has latest version of MIUI so it works really fast you can just scroll you can it has uh, the processor from snapdragon as i mentioned before so it's working really fast and uh, no question with this one with the latest mui it's a really good one uh, from the speaker so you have stereo speakers here from left and right or from top and bottom here it uses uh, the okay focus let me focus okay now it's fine so basically from the top it's using the the dynamic here and it's just a hole to make it uh, louder basically it's a bit lower volume than the regular one but still the stereo effect is quite well so still it's uh, the quality of sound is really good also you have uh, front camera and screen like this so it's also quite convenient usually it's not visible when you just uh, scroll somewhere you know still like 
almost not no not visible let's say especially during some phone calls it's quite convenient to use what else also you have a camera here you have two cameras uh, I installed the Google camera which increase the quality of this one is 1.108 megapixel camera that is really huge and the lenses are really good quality so basically it's uh, it's a good camera even in 2022 and comparing to Mi 11T Pro the quality is even better and it has optic stabilizer which is also better than Mi 11T Pro also you have the light sensor here uh, that one 360 degree light sensor and you have the flashlight as well so it's also quite uh, quite good in this phone so I use the uh, case from Nilkin it's very very famous brand and it's seven bucks from Aliexpress also okay what else what else we can say about this phone you have uh, uh, I air control so you like remote control for your devices for your TV air condition others so you can use them quite well you have a microphone here microphone here uh, also type C port no wireless chargers that is disadvantage but still in 2022 for 200 bucks I don't think you'll find something better than this one also you've got the screen refresh rate it's 148 hertz which is a really good one for this IPS screen of course the screen has some disadvantages but still you know that's uh, IPS and it's better for your eyes and there is no uh, problems with uh, your eyes being tired like from AMOLED screen actually uh, what else what else I want to mention that still all the updates coming the battery is running really good yeah just let's see what's today so I have four hours battery usage I've used so many apps that are basically this one actually consuming too much so we can just restrict background activity okay good one so basically it's around seven hours of active screen with uh, like regular usage maybe six hours it's a minimum one with like browsing with 4G using etc also this phone supports 5G which is also good if you want to use it in the nearest future maybe it's already available in your country or your city or your region still the quality of battery uh, is good what else battery covered camera quality covered I will not show you right now the trial photos you will not see big difference with some other top Xiaomi phones so this camera is actually better than the current one from Mi 11T Pro the only difference uh, if you are thinking about buying Mi 11T Pro is a screen so basically here is a screen IPS screen which is a really good IPS screen yeah that is uh, rarely used right now so all the top phones use an AMOLED screen and if you still want IPS screen that may be the best option for from for you for high quality phone not for like 100 200 bucks phones that are really uh, the screens are lower quality of course from disadvantages you have the proximity sensor here that actually it's just using the, your dynamic basically you don't have real sensor that's why during phone calls when you close uh, the sensor uh, sometimes it might not work so that's a well-known disadvantage and Xiaomi cannot fix it for latest two years so basically that's the disadvantage of many Xiaomi phones uh, from my perspective this phone is a really good deal if you need just high quality phone uh, for 250 bucks with a really good camera with optical image stabilization with IPS uh, quite big IPS screen uh, and good battery also I, I memorize second disadvantage is uh, weight actually it's almost 220 grams and you really feel it in your hands so it's relatively fat compared to AMOLED screen because you have IPS here and because of IPS screens uh, size a bit bigger and uh, weight a bit bigger so still I would recommend to buy this phone if you're ready to spend 250 bucks for IPS screen uh, phone from 2020 with a good processor with enough RAM and memory and I think it's really worth to buy so thank you very much for watching and see you next time